from Koh Phangan, Thailand. The fishermen are returning. The sun is shining. The clouds disappeared. This is a beautiful morning here on Koh Phangan. Welcome to my office. Yes, I know I promised you guys a video today about Italy and it's going to be a video about Italy. I'm just going to do a short introduction with one very important news about Bitcoin and then you can enjoy this beautiful video of our family spending time in Italy last year when there was no lockdown or any crisis whatsoever. The Bitcoin news I want to talk to you about is that we saw, yeah, Bitcoin tried to retest the 9K, 9050 I think it was, and we fell back again to 8800. As I said in the last few videos, yes, Bitcoin is volatile and it's going to be volatile the next couple of months. So if you can't handle the stress of Bitcoin going up, down, up, down, I would suggest to zoom out and look at the bigger picture. I have learned this zooming out from the very good course I am following from the Crypto Crew University. Steve is the guy there behind uh, the Crypto Crew University and he has a lot of trading knowledge and uh, some good hints on how to create a mindset to be a trader that will be making profit and one of the videos he posted yesterday I found very interested and I wanted to share this information with you guys because if you zoom out and you want to take a look at a bigger picture then there was a hidden dragonfly doji and why do I say hidden because most of us uh, can't even see this on the charts because it's on the two month chart. So not on the daily chart, not on the weekly chart, not on the monthly chart, on the two month chart. And if you look at the two month chart, you see this green dragonfly doji, that's an indicator for a long term trend reversal. The same that a gravestone doji indicates that we have a bearish trend reversal, and which we had and which we stayed in for 10 months after seeing this gravestone doji on the same chart. Now on this chart we see this dragonfly doji indicating that there is a trend reversal. No, that doesn't mean that Bitcoin is going up today, tomorrow, next week. It's a long term indicator. It's a long-term vision between two and five months that Bitcoin is bre breaking the bear trend and we are going to go bullish like we have done in the last couple halvings, <laughs> the last two halvings, I must say. <laughs> so that's the only Bitcoin news I'm going to share because I think it's very important. Steve has been right many times with his TAs. I love the course. If you want to follow the course, sign up using my link in the description. You get a discount and at the same time we earn a little bit that we can share here with the poor people in Thailand because they are not having tourists at the moment and they are running out of money and they need food. So we want to donate some food to these people so use our links to sign up to this course. I also put the link to the video Steve made down below in the description. Our campsite pitch uh, and the girls. Tabling or something in Dutch is Taflen. <laughs> Stop a 
along the way because we can't drive. <laughs> now it's only raining just a little bit. I think we are towards it's a rainy day in Italy. Good for nature. Where are we going to? Who can tell me where are we going to? <laughs> the Tower of Pisa. Tower of Pisa. Tower of Pisa. Tower of Tower of Tower of Pisa. Yep, you can put it. Try to eat healthy. One big mess because we just arrived on a new spot near Rome. And setting up everything. Table outside. Then for the kids. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's early for the girls. They went a little bit too late. Too bad. <laughs> but hey, you only live once. Today we are going to Jessa <laughs> walk. <laughs> Kids love to walk. I've got one thing on my mind. I already hear the bells. Everything about you calling out to me. I got to call the train. about five minutes in Rome and we already <laughs> are going for an ice cream <laughs> we just visited some ancient building in Rome again did you like it Juna? It's too hot, eh? it's really hot, it's really really hot, so we are going to the next stop. <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> it's raining. So you are wet, yeah. so we are all wet. Yeah. Are you wet? Not, yeah. <laughs> from the from the what? From the bottom to my from head. How do you say from my feet to my head? I'm yeah, it's uh, wet. We are still in room, but it started to storm. Juna, do you like this Colosseum? Why not? Because it's raining. Yeah. Do you think you could fight a lion? No. No? I don't think we could find a lion as well. 
Would you be a gladiator if you were? No, 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 no. What, what would you have been when you were in this time? The queen. <laughs> the queen. <laughs> would you marry a gladiator or would you marry a king? The king. You would marry the king. Yeah. Would you marry a king or, like, or a gladiator? <laughs> king. A king. No. Would you marry a king or a gladiator? Would you marry a gladiator or a king? Ah, you married a gladiator. <laughs> Today we are going to the Vatican. San Pietro. How do you call it? San Pietro? Vatican. Vatican, yeah. Okay. And we're taking the subway. So we're waiting for the subway. Yeah. <laughs> Jessa, where are we? Where are we? Is that a magnet? Yeah. <laughs> Using the umbrella not for the rain but for the sun. For the sun it's it's bloody, hot. bloody hot. And we are all waiting here for the Pope. 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 It's like a football match. It's like football. They are starting to shear and everything for this guy. <laughs> Let's see if I can zoom in. How do you cool off when it's bloody hot? Or you walk with a umbrella? umbrella. I just walked through the water. Sprinkler system. Fighting. <laughs> Girl. Gotta love. So we just went into this Canada store. And you wanna try it, Juna? Are you can I try it? Yes, that wasn't it good. <laughs> Julie is trying a cannabis lolly. It's just like a lolly. <laughs> How does it taste? <laughs> <laughs> enjoyed this video about Italy how we educate our children about history um, by showing them the Tower of Pisa by showing them the Vatican by showing them the Colosseum and, and all the other beautiful buildings in Italy this is how we educate children by leading by example by showing them in a practical way what is normally shown to kids in books uh, reading a book is totally different than being there seeing how big it really is feeling the vibe and all these things and questions that pop up in else head while seeing it you answer and by answering this you're you're educating your children give the video a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel hit the bell button so you will be notified on every new video if you have any question of any suggestion about a video 
please comment below i love to interact with you guys i love to give you answers wow the sun is so bright today oh man that's beautiful um so i'm gonna last thing i'm going to say i wish you an amazing saturday an amazing weekend if there is beautiful news i will make a cool video tomorrow again ciao bella italy however you say it is in italy my italian is not that good have a very beautiful day guys and see you again tomorrow